Hey guys, and welcome back to Minions 4. I am Cat, and today we're going to plan another assault on Tian Chi, because that worked so well last time, I figure how could it fail a second time, right? Yeah, bear with me for a second. Uh, so, last episode we gave Bill Eye some gems, and I've been thinking about it. We've actually given him a lot of fire gems, which is good. We're going to need the fire gems, because he's going to use those fire gems to cast uh, basically a endless knight on our foes. It's not really endless, but it will be night, and that's, that's really all I asked for, I suppose. Uh, also, last episode we got attacked, well, we attacked a whole bunch of shrimp and got our butts kicked by them. So, that's disappointing, but it is okay. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to make these guys retreat. We're just going to build a bit of defenses in here. It won't really hold anything, but we'll build defenses there nonetheless. So they're going to come back here and they're going to reinforce around here and we'll see where they go from there. Uh, also we've been building some cannon fodder troops there. Also there's a huge army there which I don't think we can really stop should they decide to attack us. Um, but I think we should still be prepared to fight. No we're not going to be prepared to fight, we're going to be prepared to run. In fact running is exactly what we're going to do right now. Okay, so, recruiting more men, that's always a very good idea. Uh, we're going to need more seal guards, because we always need more seal guards. I mean, seal guards are the future of mankind. Or, Agathian kind, I suppose. And, if you know anything about Agatha, uh, it isn't actually, because after this era, all of Agatha is kind of wiped out. So, that's a bit sad. They don't survive this era. Uh, after the early age, middle age, or whatever we want to call it, the next age, uh, Agatha kind of doesn't exist anymore and their lands are controlled by humans. So, you know, the, the things don't go well for Agatha, but it's alright. Because we won't be playing them then, because we'll already have won. Not that middle age is even a thing. Alright, so we've got our scouts. We've got a scout in here for some reason. We're not really looking at attacking here, but... I think having a scout here is good anyway. Uh, we've got Starborn, who really should be looking for more astral sites. So he can go looking. And we've got a scout here who sees a single Capricorn there and is not too worried. Now, there is one thing I'd like to look at, because I haven't checked this out. And I really should have checked this out a while ago. I've got a Hall of Oracles, and that should allow me to spy on someone else. If I have read this correctly. I believe Scry allows me to spy on someone else. If I'm incorrect, someone will probably correct me. Uh, please do. I'm quite often wrong, and I'm totally okay with that. Uh, yeah, having them take this province does cut down some of my income, which is a bit sad. But that's okay. We're also going to leave the Tower of Ascension. Uh, it's going to be unlikely they're going to be able to take it. They might take the province, but the province is not worth that much to me. I'd rather just uh, leave it and then get you know, the Tower of Ascension, because you do need three uh, divine skill to take a alt uh, Tower of Ascension. And I don't think they're just going to have three divine just wandering around. Okay, so Reux Pact. That's just more Fire Elementals, Gnome Law, nothing. Reux Pact, no. Uh, Battle in Pania. This is not something we started. They started this shit, apparently. Um, we don't have much to stop them either. There's this guy here. I mean, I don't know if he's anyone particularly special. He's just a strong guy, I suppose. Uh, hopefully we can kill some of them with some arrows. But so far it's... Actually, we've wounded some, so... You know, if we can wound them, that's actually pretty helpful. I don't know what that, you know, rainbow spell is, but I like it. We can't, oh, wait, no, that's them casting. It's healing light. Oh. What is this guy doing? What? Oh no! Starborn! Not you! We need you to live! He's not gonna live. Well. He found us some astral sites. Uh, also, Oceania is fighting Riley in the Sea of Kakaros. I don't know how much I care about this, but we'll have a look. Oh no. Okay, this is their god, Negrid is, uh, or the Negrid is wandering around. Uh, also, 
Yeah, if you could kill that guy, I'd be super happy about that, because he just summoned a whole bunch of stupid, stupid... He's got the gift of water breathing. Oh, he gives other people water breathing. That's kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, hopefully... No, he's been turned to stone. Well, stunned, rather. Riley will do that, and in comes their god. Come on, you can at least hit their god. Tries to panic these little guys, the pop little spawn, polypole spawn, but nothing really happens. A Capricorn is killed and Rayleigh expands. Also green waters. Uh, this was our re uh, this is our retreat point. Uh, there's these ghosts. Oh, this isn't our retreat point because these are just wet ones. Uh, these ghosts are going to be a pain. I need a way to kill these ghosts. What is a way to kill ghosts? They have no shields. The defense skill is fairly high. They have like a fear, so it's hard to attack them. Uh, ethereal, I think, might be a thing. Hard to hit with non-magical weapons. So the seal guard should be able to take them down, but... Where do all these ghosts come from anyway? Probably the spectral mage. That'd be the logical sense that it would be made. Hmm. Oceania has ghosts. Uh, Nern, Province Income goes down, Province Income goes down twice. We are under siege, but the enemy cannot harm our walls. Well, that's good. Uh, and this is actually us attacking them, so... Usually, we don't get attacked a lot, but... Okay. This should be alright. I mean, Bill Eye's here. And Bill Eye should cast the spell that... I really want to see this, uh... Solar Eclipse. Oh, wow, there it goes. Solar Eclipse. Uh, blots out the sun. Okay, so everyone can now not see very well. That's promising, actually. I'm, I'm happy that happened. Uh, darkness minus three. Okay, that decreases their skill, whereas our skill does not go down. Haha! -ha! This is actually a very good idea. So now we've got the battle sort of turns to our favor, just because they can't see shit. Now I'm not sure how long the solar eclipse will last, so that's my main concern. Also, how much does Bill I tire himself out by that? Quite a bit. Hmm. More fire skills would stop him from tiring himself out quite so much, but if it lasts for the entire battle, I'd be okay with this. He does also have earth power that does give him rejuvenation. And rejuvenation will heal his fatigue up. Oh no, he's tired himself out completely. Well done, Bill. We're gonna need some actual better casters. But we've also got his prophet here, so his prophet should do all right. But the battle, la the spell lasted for enough rounds to do what we needed. Okay, I, I feel it has some promise. I feel it has a lot of promise, in fact. Uh, TNG is attacking us from behind. That unfortunately killed my Astral Mage, which is disappointing. Sometimes Astral Mages die, and there's nothing you can do about it. So why worry? Okay, now, oh, we can see exactly what they've got here. Scrying has yielded some information. 107 units. Okay. Uh... So the Demi Lich is still there. Scorpion Beasts, 107 enemies. I think when these guys turn up though, that's another... We are going to be attacking into a scary place though. Now I'm going to want for more Fire Elementals because I love these guys. And we'll grab some more Seal Guard, just more guards in general. So many fire elementals. I think the fire elementals should definitely take the lead. Um, and this was our force that was retreating, but as we discussed, there's ghosts here. But I think because we've got a, uh, we have our seal guards. They actually have the we magical weapons, and so they should be able to break free of that. Uh, okay, so we can actually scout that effectively which we will be doing more as time goes by uh, now I think it's just time to 
build some more troops. You should preach to the words of God. You should construct... We can't construct a temple? I guess Bill I constructing his own temple does seem a bit... Yeah, it's a little bit creepy. Well, not creepy. Creepy is the wrong word, but it's a little bit pretentious. Pretentious is the right word. Pretentious is a super good word for right, that situation. Uh, we want more seal guard. In fact, I don't think we need a caster. We just need seal guard. Couldn't go wrong with another scout, I suppose. No, we could go wrong with another scout. And more cavern guard. And finally, just some pale ones. Because these guys are worthless to me. Okay, I think I think these guys are fighting. I hope they are, because if they are, that does divert their attention from me. And Oceania and Riley are fighting, so that's, again, another good thing to see. What are you doing? You are coming down to pick up reinforcements. Good. Okay, yep, I think this is a fairly short turn, this one. Uh, we're not getting as many Astral Pearls as I'd like. Uh, losing our Astral Searcher does annoy me on that one. You know what, Bill I could probably... Because he's got a point in Astral, maybe you can find some Astral Sites here. Once we get this, that should give us a bit more money per turn as well. Okay, I think that's a fairly quick turn to go through. I just want to make sure I haven't missed anything. Got no gold. Uh, everyone's had their move. Yeah, in turn, I suppose. Alright. And wow, lots of stuff's just happened. Okay. So, Mr. from Hinnom, they have declared war on us. Uh, Gnome Law, we found a new magic site in the Moon Sea, have we? The moving sandbanks. Cool. Uh, magic nightmare was projected. Okay, now we've got some fights. So first off, Hinnom have attacked us. That's concerning. This is them going for the uh, altar of the Tower of Ascension. These guys are giants, which we've discussed before, but I do not want to fight giants because they are big. But big targets mean there's more to aim at, so says Kenan. Ooh, big targets are also very strong. So they, we do outnumber them, but the problem is they are giants. And the giants are wearing pretty good armor. And have pretty good defensive skills, and they've got shields. Yeah, this is... This is not a situation we want to deal with. Oh, we did hit one, though. That was our advantage. We hit one guy for 10 damage. Didn't kill him, but we hit him for 10 damage. Yay! Okay. Pania, this is us attacking them. This is revenge. We have got our fire elementals right next to our soldiers. That's that's the bad idea. Let's, we'll just burn our soldiers. Okay, and we really want to have the other guys right at the front, but we haven't done that. Okay, so this, we've got to do some maneuvering around before the next fight. Although there's a master of the dead, if we can kill him, that's... Yes. Killed with 35 damage, too. Uh, battle doesn't involve us, but I just want to check out what Oceania vs. Riley are doing. There's some kelp in the way, as usual. Oh, there's the enemy. Well, there's one of the enemies. Their god is still in this fight. Maybe something terrible will happen and their god will die. If their god dies, that does keep them out of action for a while. They're being stunned probably by these uh, polypal guys. There goes their guard. Yeah, the stuns are. Oh! That was a good hit. By the bishop fish. Yeah, the polypals are stunning them. Oceania's forces quite well. I mean, that's not going to be good to fight against them, but I'm okay that Riley's fighting against Oceania, just because Oceania is one of my main threats. Uh, and finally, Oceania attacks us. 
this is not a fight I care about too much. I think it's just going to be uh, province defense. It does look like it, doesn't it? Uh, there are some wolves. Hopefully we can kill some of the wolves. It certainly hurt some of them. Oh, I think we killed... I think some things have died on the enemy side. Uh, just before the armies of Gartha routed. But what did we kill? We killed... One of those. That's... That's actually pretty good. I think that's pretty... That looks strong. Uh, and three wolves. I'll accept it. Okay. Glistening wood has been conquered by the enemy. What? Okay. It's fine. Uh, the enemy cannot harm our walls. So while they've taken the province, it's not going to do anything. There's another battle in green waters out of nowhere. Uh, Garth are attacking. Are we? Did we mean to do that? Oh yeah, this is with the ghosts, but we've got the magic weapons, so it's alright. I hope. I hope I haven't overestimated magical weapons. I guess we're about to see. I think we've overestimated magical weapons. I think we're desperately over... Oh, and we're running. Fantastic. We've overestimated magical weapons. Everyone, you should run. I don't, want to, I don't want to watch how this goes anymore. Uh, we only lost one guy, and they lost a ghost. Okay, with that, uh, we found some fire gems. Lost some dominion. Uh, Riviera is being attacked. Oh! The god of Riley has been permanently... Oh, jeez. So does that mean Riley's out of the game, or...? Okay, I think Riley is just now out of the game. Okay. That was... Not expected. So who takes over the territories? Or is Riley still... No, Riley just appears to be destroyed completely. Oh. Well, that concerns me even more now, because that means Oceania's got no one stopping them. Hmm. Well, except perhaps me? Maybe? In theory? Okay, well... These guys are just being dicks. Uh, and my ghost attacking plan did not work. There's like 80 men there, jeez. Uh, okay, now one thing we need to do before we forget is we need to put these fire guys on the side. There's someone else who has fire guys that are not on the side. It's you. Your fire, actually, your fire guys can be up top. Your main infantry can be up a little bit ahead. I don't know if I really should attack Tianxi again. I think if I go in there because they've got more dominion, that might be a bad idea. At the same time, I do love a bad idea from time to time, and by that I mean pretty much gosh darn always. Alright, well, we need more soldiers. This is not a new revelation for anyone. Okay. And there's some people in there. Who are they? I don't know who they are, but they can, uh, they can go over here. Oh, they were attacking the ghosts, right. This guy over here, he ran from attacking ghosts as well. Uh, okay, that's the cannon fodder army. I always get the feeling this is actually ruled by... I don't know who their god is. Knowing who the enemy gods are would probably be helpful somehow. Uh, and we have... We're starting to get Dominion here, so that's good news. I don't... I want to attack, but I really don't know if it's a good idea. In fact, I know it's not, but I want to do it. It doesn't mean I should do it, it just means I probably shouldn't have anything. What I should do is just take more surrounding territories. I mean, that would be the obviously smart thing to do. But sometimes I just want to take... I just want to be overly aggressive and just take whatever I can. 
Uh, we could take a TNG property. I mean, property. <laughs> yes, it's like Monopoly now. We just take properties. We charge them rent. If they pass go, then we're just unhappy with them. Okay. Or we could just go and attack into... We could attack into here, which would give some of my guys better attacks. My fire guys won't be able to get there, and the fire guys are a large part of my army. I haven't thought this one through when the fire guys are a large part of my army when I really can't use them that much. Didn't think that one through that much. Oh well. Uh, I mean, the fire guys are a reasonably large part of my army as well. Unreasonably, in fact, if anything. Bill, I can't go into the water. Uh, you know what, maybe these guys should actually just fight back. I have faith that they'll win. And we don't want to have a morale penalty, so we'll shore that up pretty quick. Okay, we're just going to try and conquer this area here, which would give us hopefully decent money. Uh, there is no other altars here, which I guess is one over there, but that's not really within my fighting range. Okay, I think rather than going for capitals, I think I should instead just try and gather more money. Gather a large force. I would like to take out capitals, but... Hmm. Seems like a risky play. Alright, Ryuk's packs are packed all day. Oh, they did actually... Here I was saying, they're not going to claim my throne. They couldn't possibly claim my throne, and then they immediately took my throne. Uh, gnome Lord, no sites found, fire element tools. This is us attacking Tianqi, this province that I've left standing for so long. Is there any reason to keep it standing? Got a bit of province defense and a master of the way. But that'll just fall to the might of Agatha. Oh, look at these seal guard. That's not even a seal guard, that's just an ancient one. But he's the first into combat. So I respect that guy. Always respect the first man in combat. That's what my father always taught me. Uh, we lost nothing. Okay, Nifel. Oh shit, they're attacking us below our capital now. Uh, camera. Oh, there's giants. So many giants. You know what? I think it's going to be a bit of a massacre. Yeah, that's a massacre if I ever saw one. Just the clubbing sound. Is... They're not seals. Leave them alone. Uh, yeah, sure enough. No one was killed on the enemy side. And this is us trying to get back our altar. I keep calling it an altar, but it's what? Okay, it's a lot of province defense, actually. Well, not even province defense, but... It's a lot of, uh, humans. Hopefully the fire elementals do well against the giants. This just sounds like a, uh, sports ball analogy. Well, Jim, I think the fire elementals are going to do really well against the giants tonight, uh, let's find out. Jim, uh, I believe you've been sleeping with my wife. It's cool, I didn't really like her anyway. Anyway, uh, the heavy cavalry is kind of cutting themselves up on the fire elementals. Uh, oh. There's that spell, that's always fun when it actually hits someone, which it didn't. And there are flying shards as well. How exciting. Thankfully my giants also do well against their giants. Well, they're not really giants, they're just ancient ones. Oh, is that their prophet? That is their prophet. Well, if you... That is why they were able to change uh, the altars... The Tower of Ascension's uh, ruler. 41 damage to their profit! Yes, they're profitless for another six months or six turns. That's good. I really do need more ancient ones in the near future, though. I mean, more seal guards, obviously, but we can't get more seal guards because they can only be built in Agatha. Okay, the light cavalry is running. Come on, seal guards, you need to stay in the fight. 
Got a couple of the horse archers. And the, the giants are staying for now. You know, let's speed this up a bit. Oh, that was a good round of combat against those giants. I don't like those archers still wearing us thin, especially on this angle. Uh, that looks like they might be running now. No. These guys better not be running. They're not. Okay, now they'll attack. Who is that guy? It's just a... Temple Servant. Alright. And now we beat the shit out of some archers. Hopefully. Oh! Got it with a blade wind. Nice! Okay, so Hinnom is beatable. We just need to have giants as well. Uh, how many did we lose? We lost seven seal guard, but they lost quite a few guys as well. And as I said, the advantage of these guys is they are ex their guys are very expensive to recruit. So killing them does help. Uh, TNG is attacking us. I think Bill I's still there though, isn't he? Yeah, Bill I's still there. He's just going to cast, like, nighttime solar eclipse. It's kind of a foolish attack to make there. There we go. Solar eclipse has been cast. Belai is quite tired from that spell, but he will keep casting it nonetheless. Because this does make my forces comparatively stronger. It makes their forces weaker, actually, but... You know, compared to them... Oh, that was a bad fireball. That landed right amongst my own guys. Oh, we've got to get more eyes. That's why we're actually fighting people, we're hoping to steal their eyes. Anyway, we defended. That's what matters. Um, let's see, Underpinned Province has been conquered. Unexpected event, we lost 70 population, not a lot. Riviera has been breached. Uh, and Green Waters has been breached. Green Waters is here, right? Yes. Riviera was... Where is Riviera? Hey, don't, oh, it's there. Okay, yeah, we're going to lose that place. That's sort of expected. Anyway, guys, uh, join me next episode where we... I don't know, take more provinces. We need to take that back. Let's, let's remember to do that right now. Claim the Throne of Ascension. Jeez, guys. What made you think you were going to keep my throne? It's mine. You can't have it. Maybe we should just start making pl place for thrones and holding them. Because I think we could do that. There's one there, one there. Well, it's going to be hard to take. We'd probably take this one. We should take that one. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye! Meow.